Good morning, Melissa. That's right. The president gave an interview over the weekend to Margaret Brennan of CBS, a traditional Super Bowl interview that the network rolled out over the weekend. In one of the sections of the interview, the president was asked about his views of the eventual Mueller report. Remember, uh, Robert Mueller, the special counsel, is expected to write a report, but that's a confidential report that goes to the attorney general. One of the big questions here has been whether that report will be released publicly. The president said uh, it's up to the attorney general to make that decision. Here's how he phrased it. Would you make the Mueller report public because you say there's nothing in there? It's totally Congress up can to the attorney general. It anyway, though. Totally up to the attorney general. But what do you want general. them to do? Even the Mueller report said it had nothing to do with the campaign. Uh, when you look at some of the people and the events, it had nothing to do. You wouldn't have a problem if Excuse it became me. public. Excuse me. That's up to the attorney general. I don't know. It depends. I have no idea what it's going to say. So the president there saying it's up to the attorney general. It depends. I have no idea what it's going to say. So leaving himself a little bit of wiggle room uh, in terms of the ultimate decision there. But the attorney general, uh, whoever that is, by the time the Mueller report comes out, which we don't have a good fix on the timing for just yet, uh, will be the person making that decision. Meanwhile, here in Washington, guys, uh, all eyes now turning to Tuesday night. That's the State of the Union. Administration officials uh, briefing reporters on Friday explained that the State of the Union uh, is going to strive for an all in encompassing, uplifting tone and a bipartisan approach. The president's going to list five different topic areas where uh, administration officials say uh, that Democrats and Republicans have the opportunity to work together on legislation this year. We'll see if that pans out as we get closer and closer to the 2020 election cycle. More and more Democrats entering the race. The idea of bipartisan legislation uh, seems a little bit more far-fetched in this year's Washington than it did in last year's Washington. And it was pretty tough last year, too, guys.